The Grow Coalition for Background is consisting of more than three dozen uh, trade associations, individual companies, local officials um, that represent all facets of industries, whether they're energy company, manufacturers, chambers of commerce, railroads, trucking companies, a very diverse coalition. And as Representative Rice said a year ago, we came together with an historic agreement and the Illinois General Assembly passed uh, a comprehensive and sweeping hydraulic fracturing uh, package that, that even the environmental community, the mainstream, said was the most, the strongest environmental regulations in the country. Uh, when we went into this, uh, more than three years ago, been working, uh, the primary goal, first of all, was to make sure we protected Illinois' air, land, and water. We think we've done that. Second is to create jobs. And from a manufacturing sector uh, perspective, this legislation can create upwards of 50,000 new high-paying jobs in a region of the state that's underdeveloped. Uh, High-volume hydraulic fracturing is a safe and proven technology. It's been in use for more than uh, 12 years around the country. Uh, in some initial tests that we've seen recently that have been public have shown that, that Illinois' uh, New Albany Shale has potential to, to really help the state of Illinois both in the creation of jobs and also uh, the increase in tax revenue both for state and local government. So we think this is a win-win situation for the state of Illinois. We can protect the air, water, and land while creating uh, a golden economic development for the state of Illinois. And it's, it's time, it's been a year, it's time for the governor and DNR to move forward with the rules so that hydraulic fracturing can occur in Illinois.